welcome back to my channel my name is Macy and today I want to show you guys uh, what design I intend to do with pillowcases for 2023 so I draw up some design what I like to do obviously with measurements and everything well my measurements for my pillow is 42 centimeter so calculate around a couple of centimeter more for the sewing so i actually calculating like two uh, centimeter extra for sewing so we will see how it's gonna come in out so those are my design what i think i like to have is gonna be leather and normal fabric now uh, leather i using this bag color and um this brown darker brown uh distressed looked leather i bought it from ebay and usually i bought like half four meter so it's going long and even I done some candle as well because how I said it I want to co cooperate uh, the leather look to my new home decor in 2023 so I using these two uh, colored um, leather I using this lighter color uh, fabric um i actually bought it from a second hand shop for one pound so i using that and i have this uh, more moody flower design um black fabric i bought this one from uh, one of the shop in my town in creton on sea for five pounds something per meter and I got my two meters also because I love the black with the um, with the multicolored flower design a little bit of uh, shabby chic and uh, moody uh, style mixed together so I using those fabrics and these um, leather for the pillows what i doing <coughs> Jogo. say hi to my dog <laughs> he's always under my feet uh i'm going for this one what i was start to do i gonna do the 42 by 42 around with this fabric with the leather one and actually it's gonna be go for two pillows then because then i just have to cut cut in half the fabric and that is the the size so uh how i said it i give in two inch by uh by to the 42 so it, actually i'm measuring like um 44 uh, and i using some markers to mark the lines up so that is 42 or oh, I mean 44 that is 44 and that is 44 and then I'm gonna put one more down here for 44 like that and I get one roller and I just trying to make a straight line Try 
trying to make it a straight line all the way up And I'm gonna show you guys some design. Uh, what I actually, I mean, uh, inspiration. Why actually uh, following with my uh, with these pillow designs. Sorry, guys. My dog is under my feet. So, trying to be, watch out to not knock the camera over. So, what I'm doing, I'm just following my line down. So sorry guys, um, my husband called me, he's at work and he having his break, so I have to stop my video. So I drawn up the line and I just going, I mean I following the line. Up as much as I can. And because I want to want to use the same measurement on the other fabric, maybe I can use it with that, or I think might better with the darker color. So I'm gonna go for that with that. I'm gonna put you down there, guys. And what I'm doing, instead of measuring out again, the 40 4x44, because we're making a 42x42 42 42 pillowcase, um, I actually, what well, I've done a couple of times now, I'm using this one for for the measure so because it's easier to just following the lines here And then you just gonna cut it again. Probably this gonna be like a might is gonna be like a two part of video because I this time I want to show you guys more the design more the inspiration why using here and i want to do it step by step so everybody can follow it the easy um steps so what i gonna do now i just gonna kind of fold it in half and the corners 
the more main thing to matching up. So, sorry about my dog, probably is the postman. <laughs> Does your dog doing the same thing? Leave me in the command. So, um, I just gonna following this line down to the other end. And then we're gonna get the triangle part of it. So we're gonna put it in this one on the side and then we're gonna use the other side of the fabric. To fold it and then you will cut it. I looked up how much cost to have a pillowcase with leather uh, insert and horrible price like about 10 pound per for for a pair and me personally i do not want to pay that much when i actually need a good couple of them so okay so now we have the back of our pillows one of the side of the corners and the other one and kind of this is how it's gonna be look like So, and then <clears throat> obviously we have another pair, so it's gonna be two pair of them. So what I gonna do now, pair them together. Now we gonna get again our fabric because we need the other back of the pillow so we're gonna looking at it how much fabric we have here I think we're gonna have enough to make up the other back So the same technique I used, just copy down the, that size and I'm just gonna follow in my line. Doesn't really have to be straight as is gonna be sued anyways. So I was coming up with this idea because next year obviously is coming up very quick. So. I was want to have some nice pillow case 
for my home to decorate and I thought I gonna combine some leather look into my design what I going for so that is my second one and you just gonna do the same thing pair them together and this is how it's kind of gonna look like after you sew them together This is the other design. This is the next design. left it longer so I can um, make it as a envelope pillowcase. This is how the next these look like. And this is my last design. Thank you for watching. And see you guys in part two. When I gonna sew it together and I gonna show you guys how to do it. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you wasn't subscribed yet. Push the bell so you can get notification when I uploading new video. Every Friday I upload a DIY and every so uh, Sunday I uploading a shopping video. Um, please subscribe because that will help my channel grow and I can make more and more DIYs for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good morning, day or evening, depends where you are on, in the world. Stay safe, stay beautiful, love you guys. Bye. Hey guys, we are in the step two. Um, I'm gonna sew the edge of the fabric what we pre-cut. come off so let's do the step to the sewing
and now we just bring the inside out There we go. One done.